Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to enable multi-touch browsing on your Nexus One in the native browser as opposed to downloading a different browser. So if you're not already there, head to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the search bar, and then look for our how to enable multi-touch browsing on the Nexus One. Okay, so before you begin, you got to have root access. So uh, we have a link there to our how to root the Nexus One procedure. Go head over to that, follow that procedure. Uh, and then once you're done, you can come back here. One thing I would recommend as well, though, is doing the other procedure, which is the how to load a custom ROM and load the Motocom ROM from our download section, then come back to here. But again, that's optional. You don't have to do that. So once you're done with that, you can go to the next step. Okay, so the first step you got to do is you got to download these three files, the browser.apk, the XML file, and the jar file. Uh, once you've saved them, you need to save them into the tools folder of the Android SDK folder. The Android SDK folder is the one that we created um, when setting up ADB in the root procedure, so you should still have that. Once you've done that, we can go to the next step. Okay, so once you've saved those three files, you'll see them right there. And this is executable jar, XML document, APK file. And they're going to be in the Android SDK tools folder. Okay, so next we need to do is plug in the Nexus One via USB. And ignore whatever's uh, coming into the notification menu. But you're going to go to Settings, Applications, Development, and make sure the USB debugging is checked. You can hit Home and go to the next step. Okay, so next thing we need to do is open the command prompt. You can do that by typing CMD and hitting Enter. And there we have the command prompt. Okay, now the command prompt is open. We're going to type uh, what's written in the procedure. Don't need to copy it from here. You can copy it from our actual procedure underneath the video on our site. Because uh, I know it's probably hard to see here. Okay, when you type ADB, ADB devices, you should see a serial number underneath. Uh, indicating that your phone can see the computer and vice versa. If a no serial number pops up, you need to uh, reinstall the Nexus One drivers. You can find them in our reported issues at the bottom of the site. You're going to extract them uh, and then go to your device manager and hit update driver, etc. So you'll see it there. Okay, after we see the serial number, we can type. Then, uh, okay, move system app. Okay, and that should remove the ODEX. Then ADB push space browser. APK. And keep in mind that all the uh, stuff we're typing here is case sensitive, so the capital B in browser um, for both the last two steps. Okay, and after that, the phone should reboot. Okay, then once you reboot the phone, you should be able to go into your regular browser and have multi-touch. 
There you go. Enjoy.